brief foundation. Life is a battle. And because life is a battle, it's not going to give you what you desire, rather what you demand from it. And if it's only what you demand from it is going to give to you, then whoever it is, you make your ally. And the information at the disposal of who you make your ally goes a long way in determining if you'll be able to attain onto what it is you are demanding from it. It's often said that knowledge is power. And if you look at it, you wonder, what is knowledge? Knowledge is just you acquiring information, you acquiring facts about something. Now, if we look at our focus at this session, hearing from God, you might wonder, like, what does it mean? What, how is this um, linked together? Hearing is just basically having access to information, having access to information from God. Now, if you run through the scriptures, every person, God intervened on their behalf. Every man or woman, God turned things around for, had some things in common. Number one, they all experienced the grace of God, what Bible scholars have termed as favor or merited favor. Number two, they all had access to privileged information. Number three, they all acted on those information. Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter 6 from um, verse 8, it says, And Noah found grace with God. And if you look at verse 13 of that Genesis chapter 6, you notice something that happened by virtue of that grace he found with God. He had access to information. Genesis chapter 6 verse 13 tells us that the Lord came unto him and told him that he was about to destroy the earth because of what? The wickedness therein. And if you look at the same verse 20 of that Genesis chapter 6, we found out that Noah acted upon what information he had received from God. Privileged information because it wasn't open to everyone. If we look at 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 26, it gives us the story of the child Samuel. The Bible says, and he grew in stature and in wisdom, and he found favor with God and with man. If we look at 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 10, we find out there that, well, the word of God was cast in the land. And in that verse 10, the Bible says the Lord spoke unto Samuel. Time will not permit me to go into other various um, Bible heroes, as we term them, who had access to privileged information, who found grace, who found favor before God. We can talk about Abraham. We can talk about Moses. We can talk about Esther, the various prophets, Elijah, Elisha, and the various people that were associated with them because of the privileged grace they found with God, because of the information that was at their disposal, and because they acted upon it, you and I know the outcome of so many events, so to say, in life. This evening, because of our time, we're just going to pray briefly. And um, our first prayer, if you permit me, if you can just rise, we're going to ask of the Lord this night, Father, be gracious unto me and grant me access to privileged information that will move my life forward in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go and ask of the Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be gracious unto me and grant me access to privileged information that will move my life forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That will turn things around for me for good in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm asking of you, we stand in agreement of purpose this night, Father. Open us, Lord Almighty, even as we enter into this empowerment week, oh Lord Almighty, of this conference this year. We are asking of you, Father, open our ears, Lord Almighty, in the mighty name of the Lord 
Lord, you grant us access, Lord Almighty, to privilege information in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, information that will move us forward, information that will help us to attain unto good success in life, information, Lord Almighty, that will preserve our destinies in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Information, Lord of mercy and grace, that will make us soar on high in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We stand in the place of prayer, Lord of mighty and grace, we are asking of you, as each vessel you will be using in this year's Biazo, will be standing upon this altar to Lord Almighty speak your words. We are crying out to you. Let it be information each man, each woman needs in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ to move forward in life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your word has comfort for us as a ministry this year, Lord Almighty. It's a year of we soaring on wings as eagles, Lord. We are praying and we are asking of you, Father, grant us access to privilege information, oh God, that will move us forward, that will propel us forward in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We worship and adore your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Second Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 says, and God speaking in his word, he said, and my God is able to make all grace abound to us so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, so that you may abound unto all sufficiency. We are going to ask of the Lord this night, Father, in your mercy, please be gracious unto me. Equip me with great grace, Lord Almighty, to put a lot of might to act upon every word, Lord Almighty, I will be hearing, Lord God, in the course of this year's conference, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the great grace, O God, multiply unto me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, so that I'll be able to act, Lord, of mercy and grace upon that which I will hear in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Scripture tells us that Jesus Christ was living in Jericho. The Bible says, and there was blind Bartimaeus by the road. He said he heard that it was Jesus Christ that was passing by, and he began to cry out to him. He was acting upon the information he had. I want us to pray and ask of the Lord, Lord, grant me grace, O oh Lord, great grace to act upon every word, every word, Lord Almighty, I will be hearing every privileged information that will be coming my way in the course of this year, so Lord Almighty, be as well. in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I stand in the place of prayer, I cry out to you, my Father, my God, great grace, O oh God, empower me, O oh Lord, you said you're able to make grace abound unto us, I am praying this night, Father, make your grace abound towards me, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, grace, Lord Almighty, to act, oh Lord, upon everything I'll be hearing, oh Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we have played church enough, Lord. We are crying out to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Make your grace abound to us, Lord Almighty. I'm able to act upon the word which I hear, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Of what benefit is it, Lord Almighty, if we will come through this month-long program, we will hear different insights, uh, revelations will come, words from your throne of grace, Lord Almighty, but we'll do nothing about it. Far be it from us, oh Lord. We are Ask in the place of prayer this night, Father, the grace, O oh God, that we each man, each woman needs, Lord Almighty, to act upon the words we shall be hearing. Release upon us, O oh Lord. You have promised that you're able to make your grace abound towards us. We stand in the place of prayer, asking of you this night, Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. We worship your name because you are God. There is none like you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I don't know if the audio people can help me put on, look, I'll just read it. Second Corinthians chapter 12. I'll read from verse 7. I'm going back to where I started from saying that life is a battle and it's not give us to us what we desire but what we demand of it. First, Second Corinthians 12, 7. He says, Apostle Paul speaking here, he says, because of the surpassing greatness and extraordinary nature of the revelations which I received from God. I'm reading the Amplified Version. He said, because of the surpassing greatness and extraordinary nature of the revelations, which talks about information, because of the information I received from God, for this reason, to keep me from thinking of myself as important, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan, to torment and harass me, to keep me from exalting myself. Verse 8 says, concerning this, I pleaded with the Lord three times that he might leave me, but he, he has said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. My grace Grace is sufficient for you. We're going to pray this night, brethren. A final prayer this night, we're going to ask of the Lord. Father, make your grace sufficient for me. Whatever battles of life I might be going through, let me come out triumphant. Let me come out victorious in the mighty name of the Lord. Because of your great grace, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, one thing we have to know and realize is this. is either you are coming out of one, it's either you are in one, or you are about to enter into one. We are going to cry out to the Lord this night, brethren, in the greatness of your power. Lord, help me in the 
name of the Lord Jesus. Be gracious unto me. Whatever battles of life I might be in right now, whatever battles of life I might be going through, Lord, I'm crying out to you. Help me come out triumphant. Help me come out victorious in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't let the circumstance of life, Lord Almighty, overwhelm me. I am asking in the place of prayer. I'm crying out to you, Lord, whatever it may be like, whatever it might look like right now. Lord, it might look bleak. It might not look, Lord Almighty, like anything, Lord Almighty, that is worthwhile. Oh, I am asking in the name that's above all names. Father, please empower me, Lord Almighty. Lord, with your grace, oh God, make your grace abound towards me. Lord, release that grace, oh God. Lord, let my head be submerged in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me come out triumphant. Let me come out victorious, oh God, because of your grace towards me. Because of your grace, oh Lord. Because of your grace, oh Lord. I'm pleading, I'm praying, I'm asking of you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you renew your grace unto Apostle Paul. Lord, because of that grace, he was able to go through all, oh God. He said something very important. He said, not Lord of my forgetting the former things. The former things consist of victories. The former things consist of defeat of the past. He said, forgetting the former things. I press on to the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. This night we are asking of you, because of your great grace towards us, as a ministry, Lord Almighty, whatever the contentions we might be going through right now, please, Lord Almighty, let us come out triumphant. Let us come out victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. For every man, every woman here, Lord Almighty, I might be going through one challenge, Lord Almighty, to one opposition, to one contention. Father, in the name that's above all, because of your great grace, oh God, let each one of us come out triumphant. Let each one of us come out victorious. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let us not be put to shame, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies shine over me. We pray because of your grace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let us attain unto wings as eagles, oh God. Bible says you are eternal refuge. Bible says underneath us are everlasting arms. Carry us on eagle's wings. Help us so on high. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless your name because you are God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Give me grace to follow you, Lord. Abundant grace to follow you. Sufficient grace to follow you. Lord, your grace is enough for me, Lord. Give me grace to follow you, Lord. Abundant grace to follow you. Oh, sufficient grace to follow you. Lord, your grace is enough for me, Lord, as a ministry, as a church, as a body of believers, Lord. That is our cry this night, Father. That you make your grace abound towards us, Lord Almighty. Without an exception, my Father, my God, it's not a function of anything any man has done, O oh God. Lord Almighty, function of your grace, O oh Lord. Father, we stand in the place of prayer this night. The Bible says when it came to the turn of Esther, she found favor before the king. Great grace, O oh Lord. Great Lord Almighty, that made you listen to the cries and the pleas of Bartimaeus, so oh Lord. Father, I stand in the place of prayer. My God, my Lord, open our ears to information. Lord, as a businessman, Lord Almighty, in this room this evening, Father in heaven, it was Lord Almighty information that Simon Peter heard. Lord Almighty, that gave us, Lord Almighty, that theme we always say this, Lord Almighty, quotes most times, nets breaking, boat sinking experience because of information. We are praying this night, Father. Grant us access, Lord, to privilege information, my God. What is, Lord, am I peculiar to your own, O oh God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ? We want to thank you, want to bless your name, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for how you have helped us to start this empowered me, me with this year. We don't take it for granted. How you put everything together is just because of your love towards us, O oh God. We thank you, Father. We adore and appreciate you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Your people have come, Lord Almighty. Let no man live the same way they came, O oh God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ because of your grace towards your people. Father, we thank you. We worship and adore your holy name. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.